Hey guys, how's it going? And I know it's been a while, but uh, you will not believe how long it took me to do that, <laughs> to do that little intro sequence. Um, I literally failed like four times and I don't know why. Uh, just tired guys. But anyway, so I, this new feature in Snapshot 14B, I think it's 14A slash B. Um, basically, when you go up to one of these guys, if there's a block of, um, if there's like a block of something in your head, it'll make you go prone, like you're swimming, kind of. Uh, maybe they're going to update the animation to look different than swimming, but for now, you're swimming. And hopefully they keep this. Everybody wants them to keep this. This is a really cool feature. Um, but the thing is, it's not really useful for... It's useful for adventure maps, don't get me wrong. But making somebody do this for an adventure map is very immersion-breaking. So I thought, well, I'm going to spend about two minutes and uh, make a little data pack that does this. So when I go up to, if I'm on an, em like just normally I'm like this, when I get on an emerald block, when I crouch, it makes me go prone. And uh, you'll see there's a barrier up here, that's what it does to make me go prone. Now it doesn't stay there forever. If I want to come back up, get back up, then I just need to jump and it's gone. Um, then another thing is if I walk away from it and then I come back, it'll be gone. So those are just two quick ways that it will disappear. Most people aren't going to want to get back up if they just went prone. So it'll seem very seamless, like it's just there's not there's nothing there. It's just a special block, right? Now, this is a data pack that you guys can use uh, in your maps, and I'm actually going to use it in mine because I have a crawl system in my other map, uh, the one that the map that I'm working on really slowly that might get out sometime in the future um but i'm gonna have to tear that out and use this instead now this is the data pack all you have to do is go to your saves go to the world you want it in go to data packs and uh, the, the download will be in the description you just uh, put the zip file in here and extract the zip file and you will have uh auto prone right here so then if you want to make it uh It'll do everything for you, okay? Um, if you want to change what triggers the proning instead of this emerald block, because emerald is very obvious and weird, uh, what if what we can do is we can just go um, go into main, all right? <laughs> it takes way too long to open sometimes. All right, so if you want to change it, you can just change this one right here from emerald block to whatever block you want to specify or you can just uh, change this whole specifier thing um, I would keep the if error you can change this location right here to instead of being if there's a block you can say uh, if there's an entity that you're in like a uh, armor stand or something but this is where you would change the thing that triggers the the auto prone um, but currently it's just an emerald block uh, which maybe you want it, so then it's like, oh, there's something interesting over here. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty seamless. I like it. It's very, it's very smooth. Uh, there's only one potential issue that you could have. Someone goes prone, backs up, and then it's still blank here. That's because I don't have a way to tell if a player is prone necessarily. Um, I guess I could check if the block above their head is air, but that won't be very good for um, a couple of reasons. I would rather just leave it so that this happens sometimes, so they just have to like back up a little bit. Um, but anyways, if you want to, I guess if you want to fix that, uh, you can add, so these are the things that cause it to delete. So if you want to use that, then you can go uh, execute as a uh, if block, this wouldn't be very multiplayer friendly though. If block one is air, so if they're head block is in air then as at e tag equals prone block uh, distance equals dot dot three at at s run function ap delete prone all right there we go i mean honestly i might just leave this in here but it's not going to be really multiplayer friendly if you watch the video you know what's going on so <laughs> i guess it's better for me. All right, so if I'm here, see how it's like that, we're good. Now if I stand up, uh, uh, let's go at that A, not as that A. There we go. Now this does introduce a crouch and jump function. 
uh, I mean, scoreboard, and if you use that in your map or something, then go into the init file, make it like something different, and then make it some. Actually, I'll make the change for you so that it's not just the word crouch and jump because that's pretty gener generic, so don't worry about that. All right, so it's gone. Cool. So it disappears if I stand back up somehow. Um, I guess I'll leave that in there. That's an okay thing for a single player. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Not too much to this one. Just trying to stretch out the time because YouTube. Um, anyways, uh, if you, I left a Twitter poll yesterday, but uh, the two options that were, well, two of the options tied in the poll. So I guess if more people voted, then I would have picked one of the two. But I said if, um, if both of them tie, then I'm just going to... Uh, Oh, they added the head looking in the direction you're going. That's cool. They put that back. Um, but anyways, I made. It, I said if they tie, I'm just going to pick something random. And I really did pick something random. But anyways, if you guys thought that was useful uh, and you want to see more, go ahead and click subscribe or whatever. I never ask for that usually. Um, and if you are going to use this in your map, definitely, um, you definitely go for it. Uh, if you want, maybe add a little credit somewhere in the corner or... Uh, under the map. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.